Hello there, this is Daniel West. Thanks for joining me today. Let's create some little love notes with a big stamp set. Taking out the little stamps that are in this 6x8 set, we can create some really great fun love notes, especially for newlyweds who can slip them in each other's pillows and pockets and lunch boxes. We're going to use a full sheet of cardstock, split it down lengthwise, and then score that lengthwise. And then we're going to trim these into little cards measuring two and three quarters by two and one eighths inches. These are great little sizes to fit in a wallet or pocket. And we're going to feature the Anita Jerem Happily Ever After 6x8 Stamps by Colorado Craft Company. These today for the whole weekend i believe set saturday sunday maybe even into monday these are going to be on sale from colorado craft company you just use my code that i'm going to have in the description box below and you'll get 15 percent off your entire order plus this particular stamp set is going to be 10 bucks so you better grab it while it's available at this price super fun so once I've stamped this out in some Copic friendly ink, I used Picket Fence Hybrid, Intense Hybrid Black ink. I'm going to color it out in Copic markers. Now I'm going to use the same palette throughout today's video. And here they are. R22, RV17, RV14, RV11, R28, YR68, YR04, E15, RV11, W3, C4, 100, which I just marked down on my palette there, my glass mat, and mixed it with my C4 to get a kind of an in-between color there, because I didn't want to dig through my other markers here to find the exact marker. This is a great tip as well. So you don't have all of the Copic markers that you would like. You can mix them on a glass mat or just touch them end to end and get the colors that you want. Anyway, continuing on YG03, YG99, YG06, and B01 to finish out my skies. That's our Copic palette for today. All five of the little mini cards will have this palette. And I may have thrown in an E43 in there somewhere. So, uh, once I've got this, this uh, image colored in, my little scene stamped out and colored, I'm going to take out one of the sentiments from the Happily Ever After stamp set. And I'm just going to ink up part of this. Now, this is one way you can get part of the larger stamp or sentiment stamps uh, to uh, kind of break up for you on these smaller cards. You can also do stamp surgery, which we will do in a minute. I like to do both. I don't mind cutting up my stamps. You can just put them right back. Now, you can see the little mouse and cake is a separate image as well as part of the large scene in the stamp set. So, I'm putting the table with cake and Kool-Aid cup on the, I call it Kool-Aid, but it could be wine. I made it red either way. And I'm making a, a little scene here with my little rat and the table with the cake and then we're going to draw in some um, grass underneath them and put a shadow underneath them super fun and i did the same thing here with my black ink this glass mat is perfect for this kind of technique and you can get it right now at 20 percent off at glassboard studios or glassboardstudio.com just use my code dell20 you get 20 percent off now I'm using some of the darker greens here to add some shadow underneath my table and my little mouse or rat girl. And finishing off the scene with the sky. I like to use B01 for my skies. And uh, go over it a few times to get rid of any lines that you might see. And now it's ready for stamp surgery. I like this stamp that says wishing you and then love so i pulled out love from love and happiness and just stamped love and then cut off wishing you from uh, the other uh, the rest of that sentence and then put it on top of the love so there we have wishing you love what a great little love note 
And here I am with the wedded couple, putting them right on the back of a round acrylic block from Catherine Pooler, and then coloring in her dress, adding in some RV Copic markers, and then some warm gray for her dress. Because she is wearing white, but, you know, white has shadows. So I'm mixing my blacks again, my black and gray. For his suit, I think he looks so sharp in that gray tuxedo. Super handsome. And here I've colored them in with an E43. Now I'm just adding some kind of confetti or I don't even know what this is in the background. I just thought it looked really great to just add some spots in there. And in a minute, I'm going to re review this and think, I really want this to tie into the rest of my uh, collection. So I'm going to add in some of the other colors that we're missing from this scene. Some green, some blues, and orange. Now I'm going to do one by uh, just grabbing the smaller stamps in the set and making my own little kind of pattern paper on my mini card here. There's a little blossom in there, a little gift, the word love. And just stamping them all over and coloring them in with the same palette. Now, my ink pad was a little juicy, and so I heat set it before I used the Copic markers on it. You don't have to do that, but I did it just to be safe. I didn't want to smear my ink because it was a little bit juicy. Just re-inked that ink pad. <laughs> so here I'm just bringing in some orange and RVs and the same color palette. And coloring these in a very simple way. And it really does um, pull all of these cards together and make them kind of a unified bunch. It also saves time. You don't have to recreate a palette for every single card. So I just grab the same palette. And then if you wanted to put these together in a little set and give it to your loved one, you could do that. Put it in a stocking. Put it in a gift. I think these are fun. Super fun. All right, there's a little love note. Look at these guys, aren't they cute? I've done one, two, three, four. I think we need one more. So let's get the large stamp set out and we can stamp a section of it on the front panel of one of our mini cards here. So I've got the pennant banner and balloons and presents. I'm gonna color all one color and then we can add some definition to these with uh, ribbons and using an RV-17. Now here I am again with my E-43 that I didn't list in my Copic list there. But all of these markers will be in the description box below for you. I like to grab them from uh, violettainc.com. That's violetta-inc.com. And I believe there is a code. I have a code for you there, too, for a discount on markers this month. I will tell you which ones are available in the description box below at the discount. Remember, though, if you're watching this on replay after March 2022, all of these codes may not be working at that time. So this is just for the weekend that this uh, premiered. Let's finish our card out with a sky, just like we did the others. Adding some B01 in here. And I think those little round things are balloons in the back. I don't know what they are. They don't look like they're attached or anything, but I just turned them into balloons. I want to blend out a few different things, the cake and the dress. And then there wasn't room for a sentiment on the front, so I stamped it on the inside. Here's to love and laughter. What a great little group of cards super fun and easy to do so go for it guys i hope you have some fun as well taking your larger stamp sets and making smaller images out of them smaller little cards super fun i hope you have a wonderful day take care